Hi, this is Jessica with NextGen Personal Finance, and I'm going to show you how to create a multi-line line graph in Google Spreadsheet. So the first thing you want to do is click over to the stock comparison sheet, which we'll be using. You're going to replace companies one through five with the names of the actual companies that you selected. So my first company was Microsoft. I'm going to type that in there. My second was Abercrombie and Fitch. And I'm going to continue doing that the whole way across, including over in this side with return on investment. Now that I've got all of my company names filled in, I want to go and copy the data from the original spreadsheets. So for value of Microsoft, I'm going to go over to company one. I'm going to highlight this column right here. I'm going to go to edit and copy. And then the trick is when I go back to stock comparison for my Microsoft, what I want to do is go to edit paste special and paste the values only. If you just paste, it's probably not going to work. You want to choose again, edit, paste, paste values only. You're going to continue to do the same thing. So I'm going to go over to my Abercrombie page. I'm going to copy this line right here. Again, up to edit and copy. Back to my stock comparison page right here. Edit, paste special, paste values only. I'm going to continue doing that for all of my stocks in the blue zone and then I'm going to do the same over here. So for example for Microsoft I'm going to go back to the Microsoft sheet. I'm going to scroll over to the return on investment chart. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to go edit and copy. I'm going to click back to stock comparison. I'm going to edit paste special and paste the values only. I'm going to continue doing that until I have my entire sheet filled in. Now that my sheet is filled in, I'm going to go ahead and make my multi-line graph for the value of my stocks. So what I want to do is highlight starting at year, going the whole way over to include all of my companies, and going the whole way down to include all of the years. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push insert, chart and it might default to a chart that you're not really looking for or that doesn't really make sense so what I like to do is push chart types and then switch it to a multi-line graph you'll see here that by doing so I now have a single graph with five different lines on it each representing the companies I've chosen I'm gonna go ahead and push insert and now it inserted the graph on top of my chart which I don't really want I can just click and drag it down below my chart. And you'll notice that the title of this graph is not really what we want. So I'm gonna just double click and I'm able to change that. So I'm gonna change this to yearly value of my stocks. And there you have it. Now you have a multi-line graph that is titled appropriately the monetary value is over here on our left axis and it's divided up by years down here. And you can do the same thing for return on investment. So I'll show you that as well. We're gonna go up here, we're going to start at year and we're gonna highlight the whole way over so that all five companies are in. Then we're going to scroll down and highlight so that all of the years are there. We are going to go up to insert. We're going to insert a chart. Again, we're going to click over to chart types. We're going to choose this line graph. And again, you'll see that all five of my companies have shown up here. I'm going to click insert. I'm going to rearrange where the chart is posted. And I'm going to come down here. And again, I'm probably going to have to change the title. This one will be return on investments. And there you go. Now you can see that I've got two awesome graphs, one showing the yearly value of all five of my stock choices all on one graph, and the second one showing the return on investments for all five of my stock choices, again, for all of the years.